Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for Notebooks.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to fix keyboard keys that have fallen off. Now this is obviously in relation to Mac keyboards, so your Bluetooth keyboard or your wired keyboard that comes with most desktop models. This will occasionally happen where an animal or a child hits the keyboard, falls off a table, and you will get a key that pops off. First thing you want to do is assess the damage. Are the pieces something that can be put back together and get the keyboard functional again, or are you going to need to make a trip to the Apple Store to pick up a replacement or get it repaired through the Genius Bar? You're going to want to check out the clip as well as the keycap and first and foremost you want to check out where the key plugs in you want to make sure the little rubber nub is there and able to be pushed down and you can use a flathead screwdriver or a similar small tool to perform this task you want to make sure those metal brackets are in shape and then move on to the plastic bracket and the keycap to ensure that those are functioning as well look for any broken pieces of plastic or anything that shouldn't line up if putting the keyboard cap right back in place Depending on your model, this may take a couple of seconds or it might even be a little bit of an arduous task as some of the newer keyboards are a little more complex. Try pushing the key into place and if it is able to be snapped successfully in, you should be able to do a similar push test on the keys to the left and right of it and see if it's similar. If the cap just fell off, try pushing it squarely straight back down into the keyboard until you hear a similar clicking noise. Then again, try the push test with the keys next to it. If you don't feel comfortable working on your keyboard, that's perfectly okay. It's definitely something the folks at the Genius Bar can take a look at for you. So go ahead and book an appointment if you need further assistance, but I hope you found this video helpful. Take care.